Good morning, everyone. Welcome. My name is Madeline, and I'm here with Flash. And we're going to be talking about enjoying freedom post COVID. Last time we did preparing for freedom, and now we're going to do a series on enjoying freedom on this beautiful, beautiful winter's day. So, Flash, Tell me a little bit about your ideas, how we can enjoy our freedom on our beautiful island. Thanks, Madeline. <coughs> yeah, thanks very much for having us along here. Um, look, we've got some uh, absolutely fantastic tourist uh, businesses here on Barabi, and, um, and they're all busting to get out and uh, get some customers in now after the, uh, that long break. Uh, they're just starting to return to, um, to operation, so, mm -hmm. it's, uh, so they're looking for, looking for customers right now. So. That's right. So what we're really trying to do is encourage you to look in your own backyard and support our local businesses. So which one comes to mind straight away, Flash? Well, the, with the sunsets we've been having here on Brobby Island are absolutely spectacular and I, I'd recommend the uh, Brobby on Gondola uh, luxury cruise on the uh, Palmerstone Passage. Okay. That's one of the, one of the major um, uh, little tourist operate, operators here. You can do a you can do a morning cruise, um, and the sunset cruises are, are something to die for. He's, he is surveyed for up to six people. Is he? Yeah. Mm -hmm. And um, it's a beautiful um, a beautiful gondola. Yeah, that, no, uh, it is. If as as you're coming off the bridge, you can see that he's got the gondola just there at Bongaree, and it looks like a beautiful boat. Yeah, you know? yeah. He so goes right down to he goes right down to the Bribie Bridge mm -hmm. and returns um, back up the passage. So yeah. it's. Uh, magnificent and it's a, a luxury a luxury uh, cruise you've got champagne you've got beautiful food and you can either take your uh, your girlfriend wife family small family or uh, or go be, by yourself and take your camera could, <laughs> it could even could be uh, pop the question maybe oh that would be nice <laughs> that would be nice so uh, He's open for all events, so uh, okay. yeah. No, I'd recommend uh, the gondola service at mm. on Bribie. It's, it's spectacular. And for bigger sort of parties, maybe corporate parties yep. or Christmas parties or Christmas in July, there's the ferryman. Well, we've got the ferryman here. Um, they're surveyed for up to 60, 60 uh, guests on mm. board. Mm. Uh, calm water cruising, uh, no waves involved. Up around the canals, um, beautiful pumice stone passage, the, uh, the glasshouse mountains views. Uh, um, with the ferryman, you'd have some sightings of maybe some dolphins, or maybe even some dugongs. Dugongs, you think? Absolutely, yeah. yeah. yeah the um, uh, dugongs are uh, something to uh, to, mm. to see. Yes, they are. They are beautiful. Yeah, 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 they're very gentle, gentle animals. We've got a couple here in the passage Absolutely. in front of us. Yeah. And the dolphins so. are, you know this time of the year they're, they're out feeding and mm. you'll, you'll see groups of them mm. from time to time. So if you want to do something a little bit simpler, um, like I don't own a boat even though no. I live on Bribie, but I know that uh, there's a, a service here that we can do Correct. that. Yeah, so. Look, uh, the barbecue boats, uh, there's two, two businesses here on Bribie and uh, you can take up to 12 guests mm -hmm. on, on, the, on the barbecue boat. You can um, have a barbecue. You can uh, do some fishing, touring, in the once again in the, the beautiful Palmerstone Passage. Uh, it's it's certainly a, a good family outing, and you can take it. You can hire it for a half a day or a full day. Mm. So. The only thing I would actually suggest to you, if you're looking at a barbecue boat, is watch the tides. Many a times, just out here in front of my place, I've seen so many people stranded as the tide goes out and you get stranded until the tides comes back in. Yeah, so, so it's, a long, it's a long walk home. <laughs> it's a long walk home and they're heavy to be pushing out to the middle of the channel. So yeah. watch your tides. No, absolutely. And, uh, and there's also uh, smaller smaller boats, little fishing boats that, that are available Isn't as well. Isn't that the red boats at um, Sylvan Beach? As soon yeah. as you come across the Bribie Bridge, just look to the left and you'll see about a dozen of mm. uh, those, uh, the red, um, red tinnies mm. uh, just waiting for you to go out and you can, once again, you can go out for a couple of hours. Mm. They hire them per, per hour and uh, they're motorised. They've got a, yeah, and you no. don't need a licence. Mm, go fishing, great. take the kids, <clears throat> you know, come on early morning or late afternoon. Yeah, no, He's, that's uh, great. He, he works uh, seven days a week. So. so Flash, if I wanted to be more adventurous, right, uh, you know, so uh, to go camping and things yep. because the beaches are open, what would you suggest? G'day Adventures, uh, G'day Adventure Tours, they're, um, they're here on Bribie, mm -hmm. um, they'll take you up in a four-wheel drive to experience uh, our beautiful beach up at Warren. 
and uh, they've also got a lot of tours mm. involved with their business so um, you can go up and see the bunkers mm. uh, the world war world war uh, bunkers there that um, that are yeah. uh, great history that you know, the bunkers you... are just amazing you really don't realize how close we were during world war Two and how close we were um, and the bunkers were set up here to defend us um, and uh, it's actually a bit scary to think and look at yeah, them, yeah. Um, so it's quite an experience. But the thing I like best about four-wheel driving on the beach is the big open beach. And I've yeah. been blessed enough that the Osprey just came and flew right next to me. Yeah, it was just yeah. awesome. Yeah. Look, they, um, with the tours, they've even got um, one and two day overnight camping up on the, on the beach, on mm. the ocean beach. Mm. Um, that also you're also allowed to um, book a camp spot through um, through the national parks as well mm. if you want to if yeah. you've got your own four-wheel drive that's fine yeah um, but for the people who haven't got a four-wheel drive or, or they got one they just don't want to take it on the beach yeah um, good day adventure tours can look after you there and uh, they've got kayaks they've even got some tours that go over the Morton Island mm. as well and, oh, okay. yeah, yeah okay, they got, and um, uh, look they they, they've got a, a really good five-star business. And okay. they're, uh, Fabulous. They're, they're now, if you them. do decide to take advantage of the camping grounds here and do, and take your own four-wheel drive, remember you need a permit. You need a Morton Bay Shire permit to go into the national park and on the beaches. So the rangers are very, very active and there's no dogs allowed on our beaches. So please be careful and make sure that you adhere by all the regulations. So, yeah. And, and they're considered as a, as a road as well because mm. um, you'll see the police out there from time to time, mm. no speeding, you know, mm. be sensible. That's all, all they ask. And uh, we've got some beautiful lagoons up there to explore. Yeah. Oh, yeah. It, it's magnificent. Yeah, the lagoons where you've got the, the fresh water that comes in with yeah. the tea tree and the colors are just amazing, yeah, aren't exactly, they, Flash? Yeah, yeah. yeah no. Okay, so there's lots of there's lots of places that you can come to our island and explore, but if you just come for day trips, where do you suggest that they go to? Um, look, we've got a we've got the seaside museum, and that's well worth having a look. Mm. Take the family. Um, that that caters for uh, groups. Uh, if if, if there's a even a tourist group who mm. want to come come mm. up here to Brighton. And that's free. Yeah, that's and, free. Uh, and look at the you know the, they've got a lot of history on the and the World mm. War Two mm. and, um, and and the bunkers and you'll learn all about the history mm -hmm. of Brighton. So yeah, that's and well worth. Yeah, that that certainly is worth it. Um, mm. The time I went there, they had an exhibition on um, the famous painter that used to be a recluse yeah. here, Fair a Fair War. Fair, fair weather, fair weather. Fair That's weather. it. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, and that was actually quite interesting to, mm. to see yeah. to to learn about the history. Yeah, exactly. There's a lot of history here yeah. on Bribe. Yeah. yeah. yeah so. And um, there's also um, something that's dear to my heart, right? Which is the Butterfly House. Oh, magnificent. Yeah, it's. Uh, I was put it in uh, like a, a world. Um, uh, visit like a, something out of this world to visit, mm. uh, see the butterflies and walk amongst them. Mm. Uh, look, it's spectacular, it and, is. Uh, and uh, we're very, very lucky to, mm. to have that mm. uh, that feature on Bribie as as a tourist, yeah, a tourist a destination. Yeah, yeah. The best thing about the Butterfly House is that the it's not very expensive to to enter, but all of your proceeds go towards charity. So 100%, it's run by volunteers, and 100% of the proceeds go to charity. They hand yeah. out checks yeah. everywhere, don't they, yeah. Flash? Just it's recently just... a $30,000 check mm. to a, one of the local uh, communities here to, to help. Uh, yeah, it's uh, just an amazing organisation, yeah. and when I took my grandchildren, they just loved it. Yeah. There's nothing better than a butterfly just landing on your hand or your yeah. shoulder. And and it's the just, picture opportunity. Yeah, yeah, it's just wonderful. Oh, look, it's a, a great family outing. You know, mm. if, you're, if you're looking to take the family mm. somewhere, it's, uh, look, we've got some really great, great places mm. to visit here on the island. And yeah. You can even bring your dog. Yes. We've got a, a, a dog uh, off the leash dog mm. uh, area mm. uh, up at Red Beach. Mm. 
So you can take the dog for a run. Yeah. And, uh, That's a great service actually up at Red Beach for yeah, the dogs. Yeah. Uh, they, they've got a free run and they've got time to go for a swim with you and exactly. it's just lovely and that's a beautiful beach red beach is actually uh, uh the entrance to the passage and morton bay it. isn't it yes isn't correct it? Yeah. Yeah. yeah and you can yeah. see straight across the morton yeah island. i was there on sunday and and the cliffs of morton island were just yeah. amazing yeah. yeah and even in winter it's the water was warm it was calm mm. it can walk for yeah. miles we went shell picking again with my grandchildren yeah, it was no, just it's great, lovely yeah, it's a great great yeah. place to bring the family yeah, yeah and the kids can enjoy um, walking up the beach and you dad can go fishing and mm. um, and we've got you know we've even got the surf club over there mm. um, so if the kids want to have a swim it's all um, there's uh, lifesavers there mm. Uh, on no. watch, so um, yeah. yeah. No, the surf club provides a great service yeah. to our community, and they also provide a great view of um, yeah. of the ocean side yeah. Yeah. and towards Morton Bay. Mm. So if you wanted to go for a, a meal or just a drink, it, it's just lovely there, beautiful, isn't it? Yeah, beautiful yeah. restaurant up there, mm. and they're doing, actually doing a lot of renovations right there. Yes, minute. they are. They're putting in a new bar, I think, aren't yeah, they? Yeah, exactly. Mm. Yeah. So they're spending a fair bit of money up mm. there, and it's going to look very, very attractive. Mm. So um, if you come and stay up. on the island at any of the accommodations that we've got here. So we've got anything from campsites to Airbnbs to luxury um, million dollar homes. Mm -hmm. If you decide to stay, a lot of the clubs provide a, um, oh, what's the word, a, a shuttle service. Okay. Yeah, yeah. don't yeah. they? Yes, they do. Yeah. They do. Yeah. Yes. The RSL we, club, yeah. Yeah, the RSL club and, does, and the bowls club. club does, and the surf club does. Yeah, yes. So, because many a night they've come and picked me up so yeah. I can have a drink or two and not have to worry about driving home, which is great service. So, yeah, you get home safely <laughs> and you enjoy yourself. Mainly the, the trip home is more important. <laughs> exactly, the trip home. <laughs> Getting there is okay, coming home is not so okay. Yeah, so, um, we're, we're, we've got some beautiful places. Yeah, yeah. Like yeah. Restaurants are all over the, over the island and sandstone point so, so what's uh, your favorite restaurant on the island well um i i really enjoy the um the Brobion, uh, hotel oh, okay. um, they've got a, a, a huge uh, bistro there mm -hmm. and uh, and that overlooks the passage as well yes, on the calm does. side mm. um, and that's just one one feature of, of mm. that and they, they've got other bars as well there mm. but uh, they certainly cater for a large number of people so yeah. Uh, before COVID, on a Sunday, I think they used to have bands there as well. So, correct, yeah. Is that and right? they even have a breakfast on the weekends. Oh, and okay. And that was before COVID, but mm. I'm pretty sure they'll bring that back again because mm. that was extremely popular. Mm. Uh, breakfast on the deck, mm. um, very, very, very popular, and um, they 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 cater uh, for large large groups there mm. as well. Mm. And um, yeah, it's certainly, it's certainly a good good spot. But yeah, I haven't all, been there for a while, so I'll have, of yeah, many, yeah so. I'll have to go back and visit. One of my favourite places, because I come home quite late at night after work, is that I come over the bridge and I turn right towards Bongaree and it's La Vera Pizza. And yeah, I show yeah. up there and I have the same thing and I sit outside <laughs> and I look over the passage I eat a, a, a wonderful pizza and a Caesar salad and one glass of wine and then we're home. But it's yeah. just so good. Yeah, yeah. No, so there's lots Take of away. little places, yeah. isn't there, oh, as look, well, yeah, without those, the pubs and clubs. Those little ones are uh, certainly unique mm. and, and, and personalised service is brilliant. Mm. Exactly, brilliant. Yeah. 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 They get to know you and they know what you have yeah. so you don't have to, you don't have to uh, order anything. Yeah. Well, we've got the Bribey RSL Club and the... You know, the surf club, mm. the bowls clubs for, mm. for uh, mm. uh, restaurants. Mm. Um, mm. One of the other uh, major attraction or big attraction here is the uh, Sandstone Point Hotel. Yeah, they've yeah. got they cater for uh, for restaurants and large groups, and they have and they have uh, huge outdoor mm. um, entertainment. It's, mm. it's phenomenal. Yeah, no, uh, that's great. The guests that they get here mm. on Bribie, yeah, on Sandstone no. Point. I like supporting the little places, you yeah. know, because those big places have got, you know, lots of people coming from all over the places. Yeah. But our local, you know, local residents, our local businesses are yeah. just so important. This is even more important for you now that you've got the freedom to come and visit us on the island to explore all these little little places that, that are here. They're very, very special. So, Flash, is there anything else you'd like to add to our you know a well, little talk today if i had another half an hour which we haven't <laughs> <laughs>
I think we've covered a few of the major places yeah. and, uh, and mainly our tourist uh, uh, businesses here. That's, mm. that's what we want to prop up. And we yeah, want to th that's right. uh, get the word out that um, they're, they're sitting here waiting, mm -hmm. waiting for customers. Now, and so. you've got some notes there that we'll put up on our website. So yep. if you're interested, we've, we'll have some links to these websites so that you can have a look at. Yeah. So look, thank you, Flash. No worries, Mel. Thank you for joining us again. And if you have any questions, please just pop us an email or ask us a question. And we're here to help and share our beautiful island with you. Beautiful. Thanks for coming. Thank you. <laughs>